there's a story I like to tell um, about Cinderella, and it's a little bit of a distortion to it, but see if you can follow me. Uh, once upon a time in a corn country, there lived a very beautiful girl, and her name was Rindersella. Now, Rindersella lived with her muggly other and two sad bisters. Also in the same corn country, there lived a very pransome hints. And this pransome hints was going to throw a bansy fall, so we invited the people from Riles Amound, especially the pitch reeple. Well, Rindersella wanted to go to the Bansy Fall. So did her muggly other and two sad bisters who went out to buy some drancy fesses to wear to the Bansy Fall. But Rindersella couldn't go because all she had to wear was some old rooty dags. So the night of the Bansy Fall arrived and Rindersella couldn't go. So she just kept down and scried. And she was kitten there scrying when all of a sudden there appeared before her her Gary Mudfather. And he touched her with his wagic mand. And bow and the hold, there appeared before her a kick boach and Hicks White's horses to take her to the Bansy Fall. And she looked in the mirror and she had the, dress, the dranciest fess of all. Well, Rindersella's Gary Mudfather said, Rindersella, you can go to this here Bansy Fall on cone one edition. You must be home before Nidmite or I will turn you into a tumkin. <laughs> so the night of the Bansy Fall arrived and Rindersella went to the Bansy Fall and the Pransom hits met her at the door because he'd been watching behind a wooden hidden door. And Rindersella and the Prance of Hints nanced all night until midnight, and they lell in fuv. <laughs> Finally, the, the mid clock struck night, and Rindersella staced down the rares, and just as she beats the rod and she slopped her dripper. <laughs> well, that next day, that Prance of Hints went all over that corn funk tree looking for the beautiful girl who slopped her dripper. Finally, he came to Rindersella's house, and he tried the slop dripper on the muggly other, and it fit and dit. So he tried the slop dripper on the two sigly usters, and it fit and dit. Finally, he tried the slop dripper on Rindersella, and it fit and dit. It was exactly the sight rise. Well, Rindersella and the Pransom Hints lell and fubbed and lived heavily after Happwards. Now, the story to this here Maury is this. If you want to loll and fluff with a pransom hints, you're going to have to go to a Bansy Fall, but don't forget to slop your dripper. Oh, wow, that's, that's a crazy story. Maybe it's the mythical idea that you can be anything you want to be. You can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. Our culture feeds young people that myth all the time time. And the truth is you can't be anything you want to be. You've got to discover who God has made you to be and be that. When you discover the gifts and abilities and strengths that he's put into you, that's what he wants you to be. And so we'll confront that myth along with many other. We'll confront the myth that life should be fair. And if you hold on to the myth that life should be fair, then every time it's not, you end up shaking your fist at God because you cannot comprehend why life is not fair. <laughs> 